okay then, so here is Bang's Vanilla out of a box. Um, I will say right from the start that, to be honest, the only reason I bought her was for the mould. I really love this mould. Um, I was really jealous of all the people who went to Brea Fest and were able to get Chanel. Um, because that was the first time I'd really ever sort of seen her properly and I was really jealous and I'm like, I really like this mould. So when I saw her and, you know, had the opportunity to pre-order her again and get her sort of a couple months early, uh, I sort of leapt at the chance and so yeah, I got Banks Vanilla for the mould. Um, I honestly, there weren't like any pictures so I didn't really know what she was like. So it really was kind of a surprise opening her. Now of course Banks Vanilla is a white horse so I always sympathise with Brer in the sense that, you know, uh, if you have a white horse, there's very little shading you can actually do with white. Banks Miller has the bare minimum, like literally, she's got so little shading, it's unreal. She is just pretty much just solid white. Uh, she's got a bit of shading on her back kind of legs, just there. And got like a tiny hint of grey here, and of course she's got grey on her muzzle. That is literally it. Well, maybe a little bit down there, but um... Yeah, that's it. She is, she's white. <laughs> yeah, so moving on to the hooves. Uh, Banks Vanilla has got very detailed hooves. She's got little hair, tufts, little tiny tufts of hair which kind of extend onto the hoof, which is adorable. Her front hooves are of a darker shade than her back hooves, which is also very cute and a nice little detail. Um, the front hooves do actually, I've only just noticed this with the camera now, is that the front hooves do have like sort of two different tones which is really nice you've got sort of a really dark grey and a more standard sort of light lighter colour which is nice <laughs> I mean they are pretty much the only bit of colour on this horse so you know I guess it's kind of cool they've made them they've spent a bit of time on that which is nice her eyes are just a solid black pretty standard so much I, I can say about that her ears are very very cute they've got like a hint of grey in them uh, she does have on her right side of her off side uh, she's got a little brand there which is really really cute it's really well done I don't know what it stands for what it means but it's a nice touch it does kind of give her a bit of an interesting backside I guess yeah so there's a uh, there's not much more I can really say about this horse um, mainly because she is so plain and so boring uh, that you know there's not much else I can really pick out for you guys um, I will say just in terms of mold she is fantastic uh, she's very very detailed, sort of the hair in particular is really nice. I just wanted to pick out a little bit of like the hair. Um, of course it's really hard to see on this because her hair and her body are the exact same colour. Her lips, I know other people have gone on about this but I, I love her, I love her lips. I love the fact her lips are slightly off to the side, that is a very cute little feature. Um, so that's very adorable. Her tail as well is beautifully detailed. It, does sort of swirl in quite a few different directions and it, it is very complicated for Brer. They don't usually sort of bother to do a tail like this. Um, it is very pretty and I do love it. wraps it up for um, this little look at Banks Vanilla. I don't know whether I would recommend her or not. If you really like white horses, as in really really white horses, then you know she's great, but um, if you're like me and you do prefer a bit more of sort of colour and shading on the horse, then I don't know, I guess she could be quite disappointing. Um, if you are like me and you really love the mould and you know, you're quite keen on customising, then she's a great horse to have and yeah, I definitely recommend getting her. Um, you know, so it's great to have a regular run on this mould. Um, but yeah, if you're kind of just a collector, you like this mould but not this colour, then mm, I would maybe wait until they come with a different regular run, I'm not sure. Right then, so I hope you guys enjoyed these two random little videos I've done about uh, Banks Vanilla and Vallegro. Um, I don't really intend to do any more reviews unless people request them. Uh, I just wanted to have kind of a little look at Banks Vanilla and Vallejo, seeing as they're kind of the new 2016 models and I was lucky enough to get them a little bit early. Um, I will get on to doing that Brea collection tour I've been promising for a month. Um, 
so yeah I'll get on to doing that hopefully that might or might not be my next video we'll see but until then I guess I'll see you around <laughs>